and welcome to Crafts with Ash DIY and Decor. My name's Ashley and today I am so excited to bring you some tips, tricks, and hacks to winter decorating. I know that we're kind of in that transitional period after Christmas decorating, but before Valentine's Day, and to be honest, I'm just not ready for all of that color of Valentine's Day yet or spring, so I'm gonna kinda go the neutral route and just decorate for winter. First, if you haven't done so already, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that little notification bell, plus hit the drop down menu and click all so you're notified anytime I upload a new video. I upload videos every Wednesday and Friday and coming into the new year, I know that I have a lot of great content you're not going to want to miss. So like I said, this video is full of information on how to achieve that high-end winter decor look on a budget. But first, let's start off with this super easy DIY. So for this DIY, we're going to need two of these cardboard tubes and then this scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby and it is Birchwood Trees. And then you're going to need Mod Podge. Now, I'm using Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge. That's all I had with me. You do not need dish, Dishwasher Safe. Just whatever you have is fine. So the first thing I'm going to do is just crinkle up the paper. And then I'm going to do one with the lid on and one without the lid on for different heights. So this is super simple. All you're going to do is coat your tube with some Mod Podge. And you do want to put a good amount. And then you're just going to apply your paper. Now you're going to want to hold your paper there, kind of rub it on. You can see I'm using my hands to go ahead and press it down, rub it on. And then I'm just going to keep applying Mod Podge and cover the entire tube. And I'm going to do this for both. And that is seriously how simple it is. So when it comes to putting the two ends together, you can see I just put Mod Podge over one end. And then I'm just going to just kind of brush it on with my finger because I really want it to stay. Now, I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to grab the other one. And I'm going to do the same thing. Now, this one is the one with the lid on. The one before was not. So I'm just going to crinkle my paper, add a good amount of Mod Podge, and then I'm going to add the paper onto the tube. And I'm going to press, you know, put a lot of pressure on it so it stays. And I'm just going to keep adding Mod Podge. Now, the easiest way I found to do this was to do it in sections. So you can see that I'm adding Mod Podge, putting down the paper, adding Mod Podge, putting down the paper. And I'm just going to go around the entire thing. So you definitely do want to get a good amount, especially where the, the two ends meet. And then you're going to want to put a good amount of Mod Podge over the paper as well. So I went ahead and cut off the excess paper on the top. And now as you can see, I was putting some Mod Podge on the paper. And then I decided just to go ahead and fold down the, or fold over the excess paper. So I'm just adding a bunch of Mod Podge uh, and folding it over. Now, originally I had planned to use these as candle holders, but the way you display them, you're going to see that I don't end up doing that, but you absolutely could too. You can put a battery operated candle on these and I think that that would be gorgeous. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the other one and I'm just going to go ahead and apply a good amount of Mod Podge on the top and then just crease it over. And then, like I said, you're going to coat each one with Mod Podge. That way, it seals the paper and protects it, and it's like it becomes one. Real quick, I want to take this opportunity to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you're new, thank you so much for choosing to stop by today. I hope you love what you see. And hey, stick around with me for a while by subscribing to my channel. If you're returning, you already know. I love you. I appreciate you. And I cannot wait to show you all of my ideas, home renovations, room refreshers. I just moved into a new home, so all that's coming up and more. So definitely stay tuned. Okay, so then I took the lid to that one that I didn't use, and I went ahead and just used the excess paper that I cut off to go ahead and cover this one as well. So I loved that because you're able to get three different birch logs, per se, out of 
two of the tubes. So I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm just covering them. And then I'm just going to fold down. Now you can, after this dries, you can go ahead and sand off the excess paper instead of folding it all down. I just didn't have any. Uh, a lot of my craft items are still at my mom's house uh, because I just moved out of there. And so I just kind of had to use what I, I have. You can, I, I'm just in my kitchen even. I don't even have a craft room ready. <laughs> so I'm just using what I have. So then I did decide to go ahead and take some white Waverly chalk paint and paint the tops of the little tubes just in case I do decide to put a candle on here. That way you won't see the red. So, and then I did give that two coats on the top with the white. Now to kind of give it that rustic look, you do not have to do this. I just wanted to kind of make it little, make it look a little bit more realistic. But I took some brown paint and I'm just simply dry brushing it on. You can kind of see I'm dabbing it. Then I'm just taking my finger and just wiping it and kind of and just blending it in. Now at first you can see I'm wiping up and down. I should be wiping side to side because that's the way that the bark is going on the paper, but I really wasn't paying attention until I got to the last one and then I'm like, "Oh shoot, I went the wrong way." So I do try to go back and fix that, but I still think that these turned out really really neat. The neat thing about this too is because they are open tubes or at least two of them are, you can stick a candle on the inside or you can flip it upside down and put it on top. So after I was done distressing my birchwood candle holders or logs, however you want to use them, we're going to go ahead and move into the dining room and decorate my hutch for winter. So the theme of this hutch is going to be natural. So you're going to see the natural wood follow through this entire design. Now if you see me talking to the camera, because originally I was going to do like a talking to the camera thing, but then I just decided to do a voiceover. So you can see on top I started with two natural wood pieces, and now I'm going to go ahead and put a pitcher on one side and the birch wood candle log candle holders on the other and I am going to switch the two because those snowshoes and the birchwood is kind of busy on that side so you're going to see that I'm end up going to switch them switching them and all of this stuff or I'm sorry the tobacco basket and the snowshoes came from Target dollar spot and a lot of this actually came from Target dollar spot this sled right here I actually made before I had a YouTube channel and this came straight from a DIY from Megan over at Glue Gun and Roses and I loved it and I wanted to use this because there's natural wood lettering on it. So again, that's going to pull the natural wood. Same with this tree from Hobby Lobby. I got this just a few weeks ago actually when it was on sale in the Christmas decor. Now here's a little hack for you. Go ahead and grab a Dollar Tree vase, throw some pine cones in it, add some greenery, some twine, and a little snowflake, and voila, you have another easy peasy decor piece. Next, I'm going to add these skis from the Target Dollar Spot this year, and then this little mountaintop sign. I wanted to add these two pieces because there is black in the snow snowshoes up top, so that's going to tie in the black from those. Now I'm going to use this snow globe that I got from the Target Dollar Spot this year, but it is hollow. So honestly, I just used the wrapping that came on it and I just stuffed it. And now I'm just going to fill the globe with some pine cones and those foam little snowflakes. And I thought that this was so pretty. Now I don't know if you can tell, but the pine cones actually had some gold glitter on them. So it made it shine and shimmer and it's just so pretty so for winter I like to do the golds the silvers the naturals the wood tones the warm tones so you're gonna see a lot of that so I'm just gonna go ahead and add you know as much as I can then I ended up going ahead and adding bigger pine cones to fill it more then I'm just gonna go ahead and put it together give it a little shake and put it on the bottom in the corner now for the middle I'm going to start off with this dough bowl and this is perfect because again brings in the natural wood I'm going to add in some greenery on either side and then I have these little snowballs that I actually already had from my other business <laughs> so I'm going to add those right in the middle and they're squishy they're just like these little poofy balls 
And then to break up all the white, I am going to add some pine cones. So you're you're seeing that I'm being repetitive. So I'm following the rule of repetitiveness, if that's a word. <laughs> so like I said, natural wood is the, the theme here to this hutch. So you saw on every level, every shelf, I brought in some natural wood. I also brought in some black. So I did the rule of three. So I have at least three wood pieces. I have at least three black accents. So the snowshoes have black. The skis had black. That mountaintop sign has black. Not only that, but that little lantern in the corner that I just put there, that handle is black and I purposely put it to the front so it, go, it ties in with the rest of the hutch. After I adding some pine cones and some little wood logs, that's going to complete this hutch and I absolutely love how it came out. What do you think? A sunny day, but it's cold outside. It tingles in my heart. Breathing air that clears my mind. I'm all for a good start. I hear those jingle bells, people singing about love. It feels like I'm a kid, like I'm forever young. That's why I want to sing about the So now we're going to go ahead and move on to the dining room table. So you might remember this table runner from my Christmas decorate with me. I did use it. And so I'm going to go ahead and use it again. That is another tip I have for you. Shop your house. It is absolutely okay to use decor you already have. You do not have to go out and buy all new decor. Reuse pieces from Christmas. So what I did was I took down anything that had red in it and that was specific for Christmas, but I left up anything that I could pass off for winter. So I did buy these houses a while ago and I just remembered. And so I thought that it would be really pretty to just kind of line the middle with some garland and some white houses. And again, this is going to bring in the natural, the neutral tones that I'm going for for winter. So another hack that I wanted to show you, but unfortunately it didn't work out, was I, you can see that I have orange chairs there. I'm not really loving the orange chairs anymore. So I actually ordered slip covers for them because it's a lot cheaper than ordering all new chairs. The slip covers were supposed to be in and they did not make it, but that was going to be another hack. So you're going to have to stay tuned to see how those slip covers work and look on my dining room chair. But that is the perfect way to update a style that update to a style that you would like without breaking the bank. And I just ordered a set of four cream ones from Amazon. I can link it below, but I can't give a review or anything because I have not received them yet. So now I'm just adding some pine cones. You can see I reused those jars from Christmas. They had ornaments in it. Now I put pine cones in it. Then I added pine cones and candle, little candles throughout the center. And now I'm going to use these wood chargers to put at every spot. And those did come from Dollar Tree. Now I'm going to use these gold napkins. And I just folded them in half and then half again. And this table is going to be super simple. And then I'm going to add just some glass plates that I already had right on top. And then to complete it, I'm just going to add some simple little snowflakes. And that's it. That was how easy it was for me to do this table without breaking the bank. And I already had all of this. So let me know what you think about my dining room table for winter. talk with people that pass me by I share a laugh that gives me joy that everyone's having a good good time I hear those jingle bells 
and people singing about love. It feels like I'm a kid, like I'm forever young. And that's why I want to sing about the Christmas on its way. So now we're going to move into the kitchen. So for the kitchen, I found these ice skates at TJ Maxx, and they were half off. So they were only $7.50 each. I loved these. Now, they're showing up turquoise, but they're more of a mint color. Problem was, I had nothing mint. So I'm going to show you some easy DIYs and hacks on how to add some mint decor to my kitchen with again not breaking the bank but first i'm going to decorate this little shelf hangy thing <laughs> so i did have two of those ice skates so i went ahead and i hung one on each little rack now i'm going to add those snowballs and some white bottle brush trees to each little basket and i did end up adding two bottle brush trees Then I'm going to top it off with this super, super cute sign that says tis the season to sparkle that I got from Michael's for 70% off. And how adorable did this turn out? I love it. Okay, so now I'm going to show you some easy ways to add the color you need in your decor by using decor you already have at home. So these were all things I already have, so I decided just to paint them. So my tip here is paint. It is a wonder how much just a coat of paint can change the look of something. I picked up this acrylic paint called Misty Ocean at Target, and this matched those ice skates perfectly like I said they're like a mint color so I already have this lantern from the summer from Dollar Tree so I just gave it two coats of that paint then I had these antlers these were actually from last year and I had them in my box and I just never used them so I just decided to dry brush these two unfortunately I did not end up using them in my decor but this is just to go to show you, you can literally add paint to anything and voila, you have a whole new set of home decor to match your style for that moment. Because I know our styles are always changing, they're, they're kind of morphing, they're adapting, so those ice skates did it for me. I absolutely love them. Sure, I could have painted those white, but I'm like, you know what, I want a little pop of color in the kitchen, why not just take that color and run with it? So like I said, I'm just gonna paint little things here and there to go ahead and add those little touches. So I'm gonna finish up painting my little antlers. Now also in my stash, I had these little white bottle brush trees. So I decided, hey, why not make them mint? So I went ahead and just took that paint and just kind of dabbed it all over. This paint cost me $1.75, and for $1.75, I was able to add little pieces that add that touch of mint throughout the kitchen. So I absolutely love this hack or this tip because it really saves you a ton of money. I also went ahead and painted this reindeer that I also already had in my stash, and I did actually give him two coats. Jingle bells, people singing about love. 
So this year for Christmas, I found these adorable reindeer. I am obsessed with these. They had a little red ribbon around their necks, and I just was not ready to say bye to these little reindeer. So I ripped the red ribbon off, and I found this perfect mint ribbon in my stash. So I'm just going to go ahead and give them each a little scarf. So this is another tip or hack for you ribbon you can absolutely update the look of something or bring it to your style by adding some ribbon so I just used a little bit of hot glue to tack this ribbon down just in case I want to change it in the future but you're gonna see how this completely changed the look of my space this took them from being Christmas decor to winter decor. And aren't these just the most adorable thing you've ever seen? You can see why I am not ready to put them away for this season. So once my little deer are done, it's time to decorate by using all of these new DIYs that I created. So we're going to start off with my little shelf here that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I also got this picture. Now another tip I have for you is shop the sales. Everything you see me cutting tags off of, 90% off, 70% off, 50% off. Shop the sales, the after Christmas sales. That's where you're going to save so, so much money. That picture was $20. I got it for 90% off. So absolutely go and shop the sales. So I'm just going to add the picture on one side. I also got the matching teapot, my cute little deer, and then that little riser is actually a DIY that I made. That wood snowflake on top of the riser actually came from Michaels and again it was on sale so I cannot stress this enough shop the sales shop your house shop the sales <laughs> then I added the little truck and inside the truck I added one of my DIYs although I do end up changing it out <laughs> which you'll see now to the inside of the shelves I'm just gonna add some little tea light candle holders and a little uh, lantern in the middle and I love this look how just adding that ribbon to the little deer completely brought in the color from the ice skates and that upgrade was free I love this Now we all know I love a good tear tray, so moving on to my tear tray in the corner of my kitchen. I'm going to reuse this one from Christmas and I because I absolutely love it. It has the warm wood tones and it has white, perfect for winter. So on the top in the back, I'm going to put this white lantern I got from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> Unfortunately, it doesn't work, but eh, that's okay. Next, I'm going to add this little white little vase and inside I'm gonna put these wood measuring spoons and I got these on sale after fall like in the fall season from Hobby Lobby now I'm gonna put one of my little DIY reindeer and then this little let it snow sign to the bottom I'm gonna add this mini cutting board from Hobby Lobby a candle holder and then I'm going to add another one of my DIYs plus a white bottle brush tree. And then you're going to see that I add that other DIY bottle brush tree to the other side. I stole that from the little truck. Then to complete this, I'm going to add this light up snowflake that I got from the Dollar Tree and some pine cones. I love how this tear tray turned out and for absolutely no money at all besides the cost of paint I would again was able to bring in those colors 
Now, these little, I guess they're kind of like wicker trees came from Target. They were all on sale because, again, I shopped the sale. So, I'm going to add those to either side. What do you think about this corner? I kept it kind of simple. I didn't have a lot on the countertops because my husband cooks. He gets mad at me when I put a lot on the countertops, but he did approve this. So, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Moving on to the oven, I'm just going to go ahead and wipe it down real quick. I'm using my Mrs. Meyers all-purpose cleaning spray in the scent Honeysuckle, and oh my goodness, it smells so good. This candle came from Big Lots, and then I also have my Ray Dunn spoon rest there. I'm going to have to find some salt and pepper shakers that match my theme. I have not found any yet. Now, moving on to the stove. I love this little trick. So, I like to layer towels. So I just took a white towel and I'm showing you there it does have writing on it. So I'm just going to flip it inside out so the writing is hidden. Now first I do just fold it in half and put it on and then I add this mint color home sweet home towel that I found at the Target dollar spot. But then I decided it was a little too wide. So I'm just going to go ahead and fold up the white towel just a little bit so it's not as wide. So there's not such a difference in sizes and then I'm going to add that to the front again hiding that wording and then I'm going to add the tea towel back on and that is a great way to layer the towels I do this all the time I just think that it just makes it look so neat what do you think Moving on to my utensil holder, I found this set of utensils at Target for $5 and it is a set of three. I'm also pairing them with some of my Ray Dunn utensils and I could not believe I found this mint color because it was perfect and it matched those ice skates. So I'm just going to go ahead and arrange those in the utensil holder and how easy was that? So that little $5 purchase totally again brought in that color. Color. Moving to the side of my counter where I have this rack, I'm just going to go ahead and add these towels, a cutting board, and this little tree. All this stuff I got from Target Dollar Spot at one point or another. <laughs> and I could not believe it when I found this mint stuff that again matched those ice skates. Those ice skates were my inspiration. So that's what I based everything off of. I loved how this little area turned out. So cute. All right, now I'm going to change out my Christmas towel and add this towel. This one's a little bit more turquoise, but I already had it in my in my stash, so I figured, hey. Then on top of the sink, I'm going to add my hand soap, my dish soap. On the other side, my Mrs. Meyer spray and this cute little house. Now, on top of the refrigerator, I have this big empty space because we had to remove the cabinet that went over it to fit my new refrigerator. You can see it's not quite even up there, so we will have to fix that eventually, but I decided to decorate it just to hide it for now. So I'm just going to add some garland, and then I had two more of these gorgeous trees from Hobby Lobby that I'm absolutely in love with. And again, I use these for Christmas, so this is a good example of something you can use for Christmas and for winter. And then this Let It Snow sign actually came from Michael's end of season two years ago on sale. I love how this came out. Moving on to my kitchen island, I am just going to go ahead and spray and wipe this down because there was a lot of glitter happening here. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and wipe it down. Now the placemats I'm using actually came from World Market years ago. And as you can see, it has more of a turquoise color, but it actually does not look bad with the ice skates. And I don't know if you could tell, but there were actually snowflakes in those placemats. So they are for winter. 
Next, I'm going to add this little cake stand that I got from Hobby Lobby a few years ago, and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. And then another one of these white little vases, a candle that I got from Dollar Tree a while ago that just happened to match, and another little candle holder, and I didn't really love it so I'm thinking and I decided to switch it out for a green bottle brush tree that way it kind of added more of a winter touch so I'm really happy that I made that change I like it a lot better after that little touch my kitchen's complete I'd love to know your thoughts Moving on to my kitchen table, I'm going to go ahead and add this tray that, again, I got half off from TJ Maxx. And I'm going to make this really simple because this is something I'll have to move when we go to eat. So I'm going to add my salt and pepper shakers, this flocked tree, and then I found these perfect mint napkins at Target so I'm going to add those and it was perfect because we are actually out of napkins and then here's the lantern that I painted to the color that I needed so that's how simple that centerpiece is because like I said I do have to move it so I from Amazon I ordered these placemats and I like the vinyl ones now th these arrived literally just before I started recording this so I just opened these up so obviously they will have to sit flat for a little while these will look better when they when they are flat because they're obviously rolled but I really love how these look they are silver I know they look gold but they really truly are silver and I love the simplicity of this table it's very functional but it hits all of the elements and adds a great winter touch so like I said earlier one of my hacks is paint the other one was ribbon shopping your house shop the sales so I'm gonna go back to the paint one I found these three trees on sale at TJ Maxx but I really wanted them to look flocked so I'm simply just gonna dab 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 white paint all over them and look how much this changed the look of these trees so I am kind of going in different directions to make sure to really get a lot all of the branches I mean it's impossible to get all of them but I do want to add as much snow as I can so this little hack added so much so once these are done let's decorate the coffee bar so this is gonna be very neutral natural greenery and white so up top, I'm going to add a pitcher, and I'm just going to add some pine cone stems to it, and then my butt first coffee sign in the middle, and then I'm going to add this little wreath with pine cones and a little teapot. Now, I kind of thought, thought that the teapot was a little low. It needed to be higher, so I'm just going to simply add some white plates. So again, use what you have. Shop your house. Next, I'm going to add this little help yourself sign that I got in a pack from the Target dollar spot, although you will see I'm going to take it down. Then I added a bottle brush white tree to one side of my sign and then to the other. Now moving down to the second shelf, I'm going to add this tray I got a couple years ago from Target dollar spot. I am still going for hot cocoa here. I don't know about you, but I do drink hot chocolate all through winter. I absolutely love it. So then I'm going to add a white canister. I got this peppermint hot cocoa ingredient little sign from the Target dollar spot years ago. I got this sign, I think, from Hobby Lobby, and I love what it says because it's so true. So to bring in the hot chocolate element, I got these jars from Hobby Lobby. They were 50% off, and I loved them because they have the natural wood lid. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour some hot cocoa mix in one of them. And then I also had that little scoop from my daughter's birthday party, so I decided to use it because, again, natural wood. Next, I I'm going to fill the other jar with some marshmallows, and I kind of thought that these looked like 
snowballs too, I don't know. And then I'm gonna add these to that second shelf. So now we're gonna add some greenery. So we're gonna start off by adding the trees that we just fake flocked. <laughs> and I'm basically just gonna kind of hide them, layer them, and these were perfect to add that little touch of green. So I'm just kind of arranging them until I get it to look how I want. And so you're gonna see that I just kind of start moving things around. So now we're going to move to the coffee bar itself and I had to enlist the help of my husband to pick up the Keurig because the cord's not long enough to put it on the floor so someone actually has to hold it. <laughs> and now I'm going to add two more of those placemats. It did come in a pack of eight so that was really nice and I'm going to add those kind of like as a runner type of type of thing. But I did want them to meet in the middle. So you're going to see. Now I'm sure once they actually flatten, they'll look a little better. Like I said, they are a little rolled. They just came out of the pack. So to the middle, I'm going to add one of these logs. You can find these on Facebook Marketplace. I look for these all the time. Now I'm going to add my Ray Dunn coffee canister, my tea canister, right on top of the log. And add a little pine cone just to go ahead and bring in that wintry feel. Next, I have this little cart, like coffee cart thing that I got from the Target Dollar Spot. This sign I've had for years, so I just stuck that on top with some green bottle brush trees. Again, to bring in the greenery. Then to the bottom, I'm going to add this little hug in a mug sign and some cinnamon and then a pine cone. So I really loved how all of this came out. I thought it was so cute. Now to my mug rack, I'm going to just add some simple white mugs just with wake up, good morning. <laughs> so they, it was just very simple. Then to my Keurig, I'm going to add my snow day mug. To the bottom, I always like to add a towel, so I'm going to add this coffee sign over this little coffee towel. I don't know if you can tell, but there are snowflakes on it. So I'm just going to go ahead and attach it, and then that's it. So next I'm going to go through and just add little touches of pine cones and greenery, little stems, and that's it for my coffee bar. I am absolutely in love with it. Please let me know in the comments down below what do you think. Having a good, good time I hear the single bells People singing about love It feels like I'm a kid Like I'm forever young And that's why I want to sing about The Christmas on its way A reason to hang around And celebrate this day Everyone's smiling And it's snowing It's the time It's the time of year, winter wonderland, my winter wonderland. It's the time of year, my winter wonderland, my winter wonderland. I want to sing about the Christmas on its way. A reason to hang around and celebrate this day. Everyone's smiling and it's snowing, it's the time of year.
Okay, friends, we are almost done decorating for winter. If you're still with me, please comment below a snowflake emoji. Or if you don't have the emojis, type the word snowflake. And thank you so much for staying with me for this entire video. All right, so let's decorate the living room. I'm going to start off with the mantle. As you can see, I added a big brown mirror to the top. And then this wreath that I actually got on sale from TJ Maxx. It was a Christmas wreath. I ripped out all the berries and the red ribbon and added that little deer head. So the name of the game here is silver. I am absolutely going for silver here. So I went ahead and added a pine cone garland. I added some greenery. Now, something that I did forget to mention, another hack for winter decorating pine cones pine cones pine cones pine cones these are perfect to use as fillers and just add accessories and really bring the look up so much so definitely stock up on pine cones because not only can you use them for winter but it's great for fall decorating as well so these little trees I got half off from TJ Maxx and I love them because they have the silver bottom and like I said the theme here is silver glitz like silver glamour so then I got these little diamond shaped lanterns from Michaels for 70% off. So I added these again. I'm shopping the sales. I'm not breaking the bank. So I'm going to, I forgot to cut off the tags here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. It was funny because I actually from Hobby Lobby bought a new uh, doormat like Christmas doormat and my husband saw the price because he was bringing stuff in and he said you better have gotten this for 80% off $30 for a doormat and I said no it wasn't 80 it was 90 so I got it for like five bucks and he high-fived me for that <laughs> he was very proud of me and I was like honey you know I shop the bargain speaking of my husband he thinks he's being silly here okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and add some silver picks here to the middle and then I'm going to add some tea light candles to these little lanterns. Like I said, silver glam. All right, now I decided to leave that middle just how it is. I wanted simple. So for the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and add these, these thrift, thrift flip candle holders that I did a couple videos ago. And I'm going to add some height by adding more of these logs. These logs come in handy so much. I originally bought them like three years ago for my daughter's fairy birthday party. But we've used them for more birthday parties. We've used them for baby showers, wedding showers, home decor. I mean, we're using them all the time. So this look right here, I took right from my Christmas mantle. So I'm just going to add the basket from Target. Then I added another one of those little fur runners. I, got, I bought two when I, when I bought them. So I just thought that this was perfect. I got that little snuggle up pillow from Target Dollar Spot as well as those little birch logs. To the other side, I'm adding this little silver reindeer and a tree. I love how my mantle came out. I definitely think it screams silver winter glam. It's the time of year, winter wonderland, my winter wonderland. It's the time of year, my winter wonderland, my winter wonderland. I want to sing about the Christmas on its way. A reason to hang around and celebrate this day. Everyone's smiling and it's snowing. It's the time of year again. I'm happy you're here. Now for the area where my Christmas tree was, I bought this chair actually on Facebook Marketplace. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in the corner along with this little 
uh, table that I had for my old house from Hobby Lobby. Now with regular decor, my accent color is going to be mustard. So that's why I have that chair. So then I found this gray throw from the Target dollar spot. I'm still trying to decide whether I like this throw on the chair. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Then I'm just going to pair it with a furry pillow and that cute little reindeer pillow from Target. Next on the little table, I'm going to add another one of those logs, a little lantern, bottle brush tree, and a pine cone, and bam, this little corner is complete. Moving right along to the couch, something that is so easy for you to change out that will really update your decor pillows and blankets. So that's exactly what I did here. I purchased this set of two white pillows and they are so soft from TJ Maxx for $20. I didn't think that was bad at all. Then these silver snowflake pillows actually came from Big Lots and they were $3 each. I could not believe it. So I got two one for each corner. Then I got this throw from TJ Maxx. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add this to the middle. And as you can see, I have my furry little helper there as usual. <laughs> Sorry about the angle here. My camera must have kind of went down a little bit. It was positioned correctly. And then this let it snow ice skate pillow also came from Big Lots on sale. To the end tables, super, super simple. One of those placemats. Uh, that I had just opened so I just put the coasters there just to flatten them and then a simple bottle brush tree and that's it to the end tables because we actually do use our end tables you know for drinks and stuff so I didn't want to overcrowd them my winter wonderland is the time of year my winter wonderland my winter wonderland I want to sing about the Christmas on its way The final spot is my blanket ladder. So I had this throw and I decided to use it because I thought it would pick up on kind of the darker colors of the mantle and just of the room, my couch, stuff like that. So then this blanket was actually from Christmas, but I flipped it inside out because it's white. So I made sure to hide all the red. Then I'm going to use my gray Ray Dunn blanket on the top. And I was trying to position it so you could see the word. It says cozy. And I thought this was perfect for a winter vignette. Then to add just a little rustic and kind of woodsy natural touch, I went ahead and added another pine cone garland to the side. And I thought that this turned out really great. We actually do use the blankets on the blanket ladder. That's what it's for. So it's cute, but functional. Now I'm showing my TV stand last because we're actually getting a new one by the end of the week, so I didn't even bother with this. But this concludes my decorating tips, tricks, and hacks for winter decor video. I really hope that you got a lot of inspiration and ideas on how you can decorate your home for this transitional period. Thank you so much for joining me. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button if you loved what you saw. And hey, please come back and visit me again. I would love to share even more fun ideas with you soon. So until I see you again, I'll decorate and craft with you soon. Bye!